हेलो गाइस वेलकम बैक टू सिविल इंजीनियरिंग यूट्यूब चैनल प्लीज सब्सक्राइब और चैनल फॉर डेली सिविल इंजीनियरिंग वीडियोस इन टुडे लेक्चर वी आर गोइंग टू डिफरेंशिएट बिटवीन द कॉलम एंड शेयर वॉल दीज आर टू इंपॉर्टेंट स्ट्रक्चर मेंबर्स एंड वी शुड नो द मेन डिफरेंस बिटवीन दी बिटवीन दीज टू स्ट्रक्चर मेंबर्स सो नाउ फर्स्ट टू डिफाइन देम विद द हेल्प ऑफ द पिक्चर हियर सो इन द पिक्चर हियर वी सी द आरसी शेयर वॉल so this is the so this is the shear wall reinforced concrete shear wall we can see here it's a kind of wall made with the reinforced concrete but why we call it shear wall because of some of its unique uh, properties or unique characteristics and here we see our column here this one is the column here or we can see this one is also a column which is not a wall similarly this one can also be a column so column has a very uh, smaller dimension as compared to the shear wall but what are the main difference between these two uh, structural members here i want to explain one by one so the first difference is that column are designed column members are designed for compression now what does it means it means that most of the compression load are taken by the column while shear wall are designed for lateral loads designed for lateral loads what does it means it means that the loads coming from the uh, wind or from the earthquake most of these loads are taken by the shear walls so for example in case of the column in case of the column they mostly responsible to take the compression load the compression load acting on this so the column are responsible to take the compression load while in most of the cases our shear walls are designed for little load so it means if there is a literal load coming from the wind or from the earthquake similarly here is also a shear wall so if the literal load is coming or the wind load is coming on the structure member so these are responsible to take the lateral loads the second main difference between these two that how you can differentiate is the breadth to width ratio if the breadth to width ratio of the uh, column should always be less than 0.4 while for shear wall this ratio breadth to width ratio should always be greater than the 0.4 from this we can differentiate that either our structure member is a column or a shear wall for example this is the width and this is the breadth so their ratio should be greater than 0.4 then we call it shear wall if it is less than 0.4 then we can call it column the third main difference between these two or is that columns are less the columns are less resistance less resistant to the earthquake load or we can say the lateral loads while the main purpose of providing the shear walls in our structure is that it increases the lateral capacity of the structure so they have higher uh, lateral capacity or we can say the shear walls Have high, have high earthquake resistance. This is the third main difference between these two. That shear walls are mostly designed to take the earthquake load, while columns are less resistant to the earthquake load. It's because of their geometry. The fourth one is that columns are. columns are normally provided at the end of the rooms it it ends of rooms so for example you see here clearly that they are always provided at the ends for example here is the end of the structure here is the end of the structure so we see here column and here is the end of the structure so we can see here column so they are all most of the time they are provided at the ends of the rooms are uh, structure structure while in case of the shear wall they are not provided at some corners 
but they run along the length of the wall. The shear walls run along the along the full length of wall. So now we see here clearly that this shear wall is running between the two columns. You see here this is in between the two columns. While column is always provided at some corner point at, at some point but they are not running because of the dimension while shear wall is between provided between the two columns and they are along the length of the wall. So this was the fourth a difference between these two type of the uh, structure members. So hope you guys understand that uh, there are some of the differences between the column and shear walls. That's why uh, they have different characteristics in their features because of their differentiation. They have different properties, they have different characteristics. They're, that's why uh, they have been given the different names, column and shear wall. Hope you guys understand and don't forget to subscribe our channel for daily civil engineering videos. Thank you for watching our video.